One of the variations of Turing machines is called a Medusa. What is a Medusa? Medusa is a multi-headed Turing machine. The name follows from Greek mythology where there was a monster which had snakes uh, for its hair. So there were multiple heads of snakes. So in this case, the Turing machine will act like a Medusa by having multiple heads. So let's try to understand how a standard Turing machine can simulate Medusa. So what it can do is, if we look at a Medusa, we'll have multiple heads. So here is an example. This is uh, one head, it's another head. So if we want a standard Turing machine to do this, what it can do is, instead of the heads, we can have some additional symbols, so like hash one or hash two, and these uh, pound one, pound two, these symbols, these are the ones which can be used to simulate the different heads. So essentially what's going to happen is a single head can move from one place to the other. And when it encounters one of the symbols, it can uh, consider it as one head. And in the other case, it can consider it as the other head. So in that case, it can behave in the same way. So to simulate this one step, the standard Turing machine sweeps and it goes from one side of the tape, finds the Medusan head, update it, and then it goes to the next one and so on. Now remember, this Turing machine will have the same power as the two-headed or multiple-headed Medusa Turing machine. However, the issue is the number of steps will be a lot more. So it will have the same power, but right now we're not concerned with the fact that uh, the number of steps are a lot more. So we see here how the simulation works. Now, the next thing to understand is a multi-track Turing machine. So we've got a tape where there's multiple tracks. If you see here, this is one track. This is the second track. So on one track, we have got a zero and the other track we've got a delta. So we've got two symbols, an upper one and a lower one. So one way to simulate this is to create a new alphabet. Now what happens is each letter of the alphabet represents a pair of symbols. So what we're talking about is this is an actual symbol. So we're thinking of this and not just one symbol, but uh, not just two symbols we've got just uh, so it's delta delta this is one symbol or zero zero this is one symbol likewise we've got delta one which is one symbol so we consider this as a one symbol and then uh, the Turing machine can be a standard Turing machine so this is the idea uh, so in other words even a multiple track Turing machine is going to behave in the same way as a standard Turing machine. Uh, what about a Turing machine with multiple tapes? So another variation is if we've got Turing machines which have got different heads and different tapes. So look here, this is uh, another place where one of the head is located on one tape, so tape number one. And then there's a the tape number two and on this there's another head which is located and the control is the same so can we convert it to a standard Turing machine one possible approach is to 
converted first to a multi-track Turing machine. And then we can store the position of the heads as in a Medusa. So basically this is a, a more advanced version of the two Turing machine that we've already seen. But there's first there's multiple tracks and then we've got multiple heads. In other words, this does not have any more power than a standard Turing machine. Another thing to think about in terms of Turing machine is non-determinism. So what that means is now Turing machine may have more than one choice of action at any given time it can have more than one choice of action and one of them will be followed by the Turing machine but it's not deterministic so the same conditions will not result in the same outcomes that this is the definition of determinism so in this case when an NTM or a non-deterministic Turing machine it's going to accept a string it will have a certain set of actions which will be part of its choices. So there's a theorem which says that a non-deterministic Turing machine has the same power as a standard Turing machine. The proof idea is that NTM can simply be simulated by a deterministic one. However, what do we have to do? We simply have to try all possible choices. So to understand that, we have a concept which is called a configuration. A configuration says what is the current track record of a Turing machine. So it has three things. It has the tape contents, it's got the state, and it's got the head position. Now in this case, remember this thing because the tape is infinite, we're only going to take a finite portion of the tape to show this configuration. So we can think of the NTM as following a tree. So for each node, there are multiple configurations and the children are all the possible steps. So NTM only accepts an input if there's a branch leading to a accepting configuration. So if there's an accepting configuration, it, we can see if it goes there, in that case, the NTM is going to accept it. So essentially, the simulator can do a BFS or breadth-first search of the tree and this will uh, be able to solve the problem of simulating the NTM. One of the very interesting ideas about Turing machine is that even though that the Turing machine is very old concept, it's an extremely old or primitive concept, but you can show that it can use just a single tape as a RAM, random access memory, and then maybe like a typical computer have a second tape, which is for the address. And using this, uh, we can say that a Turing machine can simulate a real world computer. This leads us to something called the Church Thesis. Church Thesis says that there is an effective procedure for a problem if and only if there is a Turing machine for the problem. So if and only if means there is an effective procedure for a problem if there is a Turing machine and we go the other way around which says that if there is a Turing machine for a problem then there is an effective procedure. Now this effective procedure is something which now called the algorithm. So there have been several models of computation to date. And this is a thesis which means it's a belief or a claim that the model is appropriate and has all the power of any computer that we might build. Universal Turing machine. Now, a Turing machine which goes at the meta level. So essentially, it takes another Turing machine as an input and this Turing machine would then be called a universal training machine. What that means is that we need to have 
a idea of something called an encoding so how are we going to give the turing machine an, as an input so we already know there is a formalism for writing turing machine so we have multiple tuples we've got the states we've got the accept state we've got the alphabet so all these things somehow must be specified using something called the encoding so when we say it is the input it means it's going to be written on the tape and interestingly it is not that hard to make a universal turing machine and there have been several research papers on this as well so in the book um, the way the Wayne Goddard book, there are several exercises which connect Turing machine with other machines. And so those machines such as with multiple stacks or then those with a queue and so on. So all of them are interesting and maybe solve for practice. So in short, a normal Turing machine can simulate a Turing machine with one way infinite tape with multiple tapes and so on and so forth so there's a lot of things that a single turing machine can do likewise an ntm a non-deterministic turing machine has the same power as a regular one and then there's the concept of an algorithm which says that if there's an algorithm then it means there's going to be a turing machine and then if there is something for which some problem for which there's a Turing machine, then we can also write an algorithm for the same. So a Turing machine can simply simulate a regular computer. Uh, this is the entire idea of the church thesis. Finally, we talked about a universal Turing machine, which says that uh, a Turing machine can be built, which can execute any other Turing machine as an input.